What's up guys and welcome back to another video. I've ran into some further issues with the clutch so I thought it might be a good idea to start to detail the car since we have it up on the jack stands and everything. This is a good working position for the car. So let me show you what we are going to use today. So we are going full send with the detailing. So first off we're going to start with, of course the, the car has been cleaned and everything before. So we're going to start off with the clay bar to clay the whole car together with some soapy water. Then we will switch to do some wet sanding with the foam pad. This is 3000 and this is 4000. So it's a very fine grit to use since there is the paint is actually kind of good but there are some like scratches to it. You won't see it very good now but when you turn a super bright light on you will see it. Then after the car has been sanded we are going to use this microfiber pads together with the ultimate compound to get rid of all the scratches and uh, then we're going to switch to a medium foam pad together with some high gloss polish to get that really deepness in the paint and after each step sanding compounding and the polish we're going to use this paint inspection which is uh, isopropanol to use it between each coat so we clean the car thoroughly and also before the last step we're going to use this soft 99 fuso coat which is really really good so I think we will lay down one layer of this, wait for 24 hours and then lay down another layer so we get that super richness into the paint. Then we might add some decals to the car and maybe switch out these turning signals from the OEM ones to a tinted one. I don't know what you say but I think it's kind of clean. So let's get started with the clay.
perfect. So now I am done with compounding the hood and I'm not really satisfied. You can see the mirror is super clear and everything. I don't know if the camera could capture it but you see some scratches to the paint. There are some really deep scratches that some previous owner has made or through the years. But you can definitely see a difference here between the between the fender and between the hood. You can see it's two different type of colors. Here you have a different clarity and also a deeper shine. So this actually makes it look darker. So when it's all done I think it will match the body kit even better. So yeah, let's move on to the polishing. And the polishing will also add some richness to the color of the car. It will make it even darker. So every step will add some richness and darkness to the paint, to the dark paint and vice versa. So the compound will remove the first layer and then the polish will make it even deeper and then the wax will enhance the glow of everything. So.
now we are done with the claying, with the compound and the polish steps and everything is cleaned off so now it's time to add the wax, the Fusso coat from Soft 99 and what you do is you just put a little bit on the pad and then you go circular motions and you let it sit and dry for 5 to 15 minutes approximately then you have to wipe it off because if you don't it gets really hard to get it off and sometimes you can't and if you smell this it smells really strong so I guess it contains some chemicals and in this case chemicals is a good thing because it's more resistant to weather and stuff like that so I have used this one time previously and it works really good so now we're going to add a coat and then wipe it off When you remove it you just take a microfiber towel and you should not have to apply a lot of force to it just put a, some light pressure on the hand and it should come off really nice So now I have let the Fusso coat cure for about 2 hours or so. You can let it sit for 24 hours, that's better, but I want to get things going. So the surface is super slippery now. So now I'm going to add a coat of Meguiar's NXT Tech Wax, which is kind of an old product now, but it has never let me down. And this you can put on a thin layer and then you can let it sit for 24 hours, 48 hours. Just let it dry completely and it's super easy to buff it off and just gently buff it off so you get as much wax to the surface as possible. Now the Meguiar's wax has dried for, I don't know, maybe 6 hours or something like that and it's dry to the touch. So now we are just gonna buff this off. This will hopefully add that deep wet glossy look that we are looking for. The Fusso coat adds a great protection and it's up to 12 months of protection. And uh, the Meguiar's Tech Wax is just maybe six to eight weeks or something like that, depending on how often you wash the car and how you wash the car. But this will add a really, really good richness to the paint. So let's try and buff it off and see what what we have. I couldn't be happier with the result, just look at this!
paint is now looking awesome and I can't wait to get this out in the sun and go dry with it. Be the most awesome feeling in the world. Fresh, newly detailed, put on the wheels, lower it, new clutch, everything. Yes, and speaking about clutch, next episode, which will probably air tomorrow or the day after, the clutch will be done. And I got the final parts. I hope you like this video and I hope you subscribe to the channel and follow the rest of the progress and I will see you very soon again. Bye!